Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we've got a super exciting update for you. We're going to be covering Q1 2022 earnings. They just came out yesterday from ESE Entertainment. This is a company we've talked about a number of times on the channel, very well received with the audience, and super excited to get into the numbers here and talk about some of the operational updates since our last video. Now before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. Let me know in the comments section below if you're currently holding shares of ESC, what you thought about their numbers, and how you think this company stacks up to some of the other players in this sector. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be providing an update on ESE Entertainment, specifically their Q1 results or numbers. Now it's been about three months since we provided our initial coverage on ESE Entertainment. Very well received by the audience. About a month ago, I put out a video talking about ESE partnering up with Corsair Gaming, so another company that I hold in my personal portfolio. And this is one that I've been keeping a close eye on. So you can see, obviously the market is very excited about earnings. As of close here on Tuesday, March 22, Second, ESE Entertainment was up nine cents per share, or just about 10% on the day to close out at a dollar three. Again, trades under the ticker symbol ESE.V here in Canada, and also in the States on the OTC under the ticker symbol ENTEF. Now, if we jump back to the Canadian listing here, you can see over the last couple of months, ESE has been downtrending. And I think this honestly is a great opportunity to be accumulating shares at even better prices, you guys. So back in January, we were looking at about a dollar 50 Canadian. If we zoom into a one month chart, you can see ESC actually bottomed out sub $1 Canadian, so about 90 cents. And it appears to me that the bottom is now in and we've seen support building at that 90 cent level. So obviously that's a great indication. And if this is one that you've been watching, maybe you're sitting on the sidelines, it may be worth taking a second look, especially in light of the impressive numbers that we're gonna talk about in today's update. Now, with that being said, before we get into the meat and potatoes of today's video, I did quickly wanna jump over to iTrust Capital, you guys. There's a link in the video description below. This is a great platform for those of you located in the United States. If you're looking to invest in crypto or traditional gold and silver, through your IRA or Roth IRA. So for Canadians, this is very similar to a TFSA or an RSP. iTrust Capital is the leading digital asset IRA platform that allows clients to directly buy and sell cryptocurrencies and physical gold and silver in real time through their retirement accounts. So this is a company I've mentioned in a few of my videos and I'm really a strong advocate, you guys, if you're bullish on the price of cryptocurrencies over the long term, you definitely wanna make sure that you're taking advantage or getting tax shelter where there's an opportunity to do so. I trust capital really puts you in a position to do that. Again, it's very user friendly here. You can see you can log in from mobile or your desktop. It's the number one way to invest in crypto through an IRA in the United States. And over 100,000 people are now using this platform with a five star average review on Google. So again, link in the video description below and I would definitely encourage you to go in and take a look if you're someone who resides in the United States and you're looking to invest in crypto. Now, for those of you who maybe missed our last video on ESE Entertainment, I wanted to just quickly jump over to the company website here, you guys, and give you a description of what this company is all about before we actually get into the Q1 results here. So ESE Entertainment is a Europe-based entertainment and technology company focused on gaming and esports, particularly on media rights relating to esports, physical and digital content creation and distribution of esports related content. ESC is focused on bridging Europe, Asia, and North America. The company was founded in 2019 by Conrad Wasuela, a former professional football player. And today ESC has grown to consist of multiple assets and world-class operations in the gaming and esports industry. So we're actually gonna take a look at their portfolio in a second here. Our capabilities include, but are not limited to, physical infrastructure, 
broadcasting, global distribution for gaming and esports related content, advertising, sponsorship support, and a growing esports team franchise. So as we talked about in our deep dive analysis, this is a great way to invest in the esports industry overall and get some of that diversification that a lot of people are really searching for. Now, obviously the recent events in Europe have taken a hit on this company, you guys. We've seen the share price pull back over the last couple of months, as mentioned in the intro. And I think this is really presenting a great opportunity I personally am super excited about the esports space over the next couple of decades and I think ESC really has a great mix here in terms of their asset portfolio which we're going to talk about right now. So some of the key assets that you're getting with ESC Entertainment here you guys is Game Addict. So this is a recent addition. It's a technology company focused on the video game industry. The company creates and executes its performance model technology software to generate users and increase the reach of the games for its customers, primarily video game developers. So the closing of their Game Addict acquisition was actually subsequent to Q1 and you're gonna see that in the operational highlights. Then they have Frenzy, so we talked about this in our last video update. Digital Motorsports, which is really focused on racing simulators, and this is where they actually partnered up with Corsair Gaming. They've got WPG, or the World Performance Group, Virtual Pit Stop, which really caters again to game developers, racing fans, and gamers looking to engage in motorsport-related esports. They've got Kick, which really manages their in-house esports teams, so these compete in a variety of different platforms or games, including League of Legends, FIFA, Apex Legends, and more. A very successful team overall here you guys over a hundred world-class players under the kick umbrella or banner and they've now received over 850 awards and then in addition to that you have ESC gaming itself which again is that European focused entertainment and technology company so now for the big news here you guys or the finale of today's video ESC entertainment reports first quarter 2022 results again we saw a massive move in the share price yesterday nearly 10% on the back of this news this came out yesterday morning so 3 a.m tuesday march 22nd the big top line number here you guys record quarterly revenue of just over eight million dollars which represents a year-over-year -year increase in excess of four thousand percent so four thousand sixty nine percent year-over-year increase to be exact which is absolutely phenomenal really speaks to some of the m a activity that ese has undergone over the last 12 months and the ability to generate revenue based on the portfolio of assets that they've put together and we just reviewed. So some of the key first quarter financial operational highlights, again, revenue came in just north of $8 million compared to only 190,000 in Q1 of 2021. Gross profit was 1.41 million for Q1 of this year. So again, year over year increase here, you guys, 633%, which is absolutely phenomenal for this company. Adjusted EBITDA came in at a loss of $795,000 compared to a loss last year of $687,000. And their total assets as of January 31st, 2022, sat at just under $20 million or 19.6 million compared to total assets as of October 31st at 15.94 million. So you can see in just one quarter there, you guys, they increased their assets by over three and a half million, which is phenomenal. And again, they're continuing to add pieces or components to this underlying business model. Now the CEO goes on to say, I'm excited to share our Q1 2022 results with shareholders. This is now our sixth straight quarter in a row of record growth. Our performance is a testament to our entire team from top to bottom, which continues to execute quarter over quarter at the highest level and deliver on our business plan and growth strategy. It's important to note that Q1 2022 results do not include recent acquisitions of Game Addict, which we just talked about. Game Addict's revenue will be reflected in Q2, so next quarter's numbers or financial results. And honestly, that's what's even more exciting for me here, you guys, is they're continuing to fold in these new business units, and that's going to add to the overall top line revenue in a major way moving into subsequent quarters. Now, in terms of their operational highlights here, you can see they completed the acquisition of Frenzy, which we talked about in our last video. This is that European esports media and technology company. They entered into their initial share purchase program of Game Addict. So this is the one that they actually completed subsequent to Q1. Game 
addict has unaudited revenue in the neighborhood of about $24 million. So that's going to be a major accretive acquisition for this company. They selected Riot Games to launch an esports league in 20 European countries for the game Valorant. They partnered with NASCAR to deliver the second season of eNASCAR International iRacing. The next point here, super exciting for me, you guys. We've talked about a number of these metaverse related companies. They started a new division within their overall business or organization to really expand and pursue opportunities in the metaverse. Now, sticking with that theme of the metaverse, blockchain, NFTs, they actually entered into a framework agreement with Skin Wallet to develop technological and marketing solutions connected to Skin Wallet. It's gaming, esports, blockchain, and NFT services sector. And then finally, they're actually going to organize and produce an international League of Legends esports competition with teams from all over the world, including Switzerland, Poland, Serbia, and Lithuania. So a ton of big developments at ESE Entertainment. And keep in mind, this is only in a single quarter or three month span. Now, subsequent to quarter end, you can see they now completed the 100% acquisition of all issued and outstanding shares of Game Addict. So they fully folded that business unit into the overall ESE portfolio. And then they finish out the press release with a more detailed view of the financials for the three month period ending January 31st or Q1 of 2022. So as mentioned, you guys, a ton to be excited about here at ESE Entertainment. Obviously, investors in the investment community are very excited about these developments and the numbers that the team at ESC put up. That's why we saw that jump in share price yesterday. And as mentioned, I think we've now seen the bottom or fairly strong support around that 90 cent Canadian level. So if you've been waiting on the sidelines, again, I think this may be a good time to take a look at ESC. If you're looking to initiate a position or even dollar cost average down on an existing position. I know personally, that's what I'm gonna be doing with this company. And again, I'm super excited about the esports space overall for the foreseeable future. And I think you're getting a great portfolio of assets here. It's a well diversified company and they're making strides to really expand and improve their business model. Like for example, their exposure to the metaverse NFT and blockchain space. So for those reasons, you guys, I definitely encourage you to go take a look at ESC Entertainment. I'll leave a link to the company website in the video description below. I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts on this company. If you're currently holding shares, what you thought about their Q1 results and their operational updates and how you think ESC really compares to some of the other gaming or esports type of companies we've talked about on the channel. Now, if you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you smash the like button before you leave. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.